I get a lot of questions about what wines I have at home, how big my cellar is, what kind of wine accessories I use. Uh, and so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek inside, inside of Emily's drawers, uh, if you will. So to begin with, I do have, uh, I do have wine in my basement, which is, is much cooler, and that's um, sort of where I, I save things. I don't have a huge collection of wine. I actually believe in drinking wine, not just collecting wine, uh, but we do have a temperature control wine refrigerator in the house. On the top, it's much cooler, so we have white wine and sparkling wine on the top, red wine at the bottom. So come back here and I'll show you the other wine accessories that we've got. Um, so I have this whole drawer and I know there's a ton of stuff out there. I don't have a whole lot of wine accessories overall. Um, obviously wine openers. I'm not big on real fancy wine openers. This is actually my favorite style. It's really simple. This is left over from when I used to work in the restaurants and wanted to have something flat that fit in my pocket. These work great. Um, I also have things like an also very kind of old school style of wine opener that's great for old, um, really fragile corks. Tons of sparkling wine stoppers, which are really great because we drink a lot of bubbles in this house. Um, and then I have some other things like, you know, tags to mark glasses if you've got a party. Um, some stoppers in, in case we lose a cork in a bottle or break a cork. I also have one of the most important wine accessories. This is called Wine Away. Um, I always joke that if you spray it on me, I'll disappear, but uh, uh, Wine Away is really great. It gets rid of red wine stains. It's magical stuff. Gotta have this. I also keep wine wipes. These are really great if you're doing a lot of red wine tasting. Uh, you rub these on your teeth and it gets the stains out. A uh, really great trick to have. I also have some other things like coasters. Um, you know, coasters are something that you use a lot in restaurants and the, the, one of the reasons I like to use a coaster at home is especially if I'm dealing with wine that's on a wooden table. If you ever notice, the bottom of a wine bottle has all these little grooves, and these grooves will start to mark your countertop and your table over time. And so I like to put a coaster underneath the wine. This is a, a pretty straightforward, simple coaster. I also have this really beautiful antique coaster that, uh, that I really love, thanks to my neighbor, Marlene. Thanks, Marlene. Um, and so that's a great accessory. Then, talk about my decanters. I don't have a lot. Well, first of all, this is a wine cradle, and this is really good if you're dealing with old wines that have a lot of sediment that you may not necessarily want to decant. Um, you know, sometimes you want to decant wine, sometimes not. So you can take an old bottle that's been resting on its side and let it sit in a cradle like this and then as you pour, you just kind of pour from that and then you're just gently tipping it on the side as opposed to tipping it up and down which would really stir up the sediment in the bottle. Um, other things that I have are some decanters. I mean, this is a pretty all-purpose decanter. Um, and this is a, a pretty good everyday use sort of decanter. Um, it's Pretty simple. I also have some really beautiful Riedel decanters. I just love these, they're so pretty. Um, they're kind of a pain to clean, but they're really great. So we pull these out for special dinner parties. And then I have a ton of glassware. You can see a whole range of glasses. 90% of the time, this is what we drink out of. It's a really basic all-purpose glass. We have some larger ones that we use for red. Uh, this is our all-purpose white wine glass. And we actually even use this for sparkling wine in our house because we really like the aromatics of it. Um, sometimes you want a flute where you can really see the line of bubbles and most of the time, a good all-purpose glass will do you. Um, I do have some special glasses though too. Over here, I have some Riedel glasses and there's all kinds of crystal out there that you can get. Riedel, uh, Schwarzwiesel, Spieglau, great Austrian brands of, of crystal. Um, these are both Riedel. This is a Burgundy and a Bordeaux glass. Use this for things like Pinot Noir and Grenache. Uh, this is what we use for Cabernet, big wine, Syrah, like that. Then I also have up here for super fancy wine drinking, the Sommelier series glasses. And these things are massive. They are uh, just big, beautiful, hand-blown glasses. I've got different styles of these as well, a burgundy and a Bordeaux. And you know, these are, they're hard to clean, they're fragile, but they're so beautiful and they make a great impact. And when you bang them together, they make a great noise. Incredibly fragile, but also really strong. It's really weird. Um, those don't get used that often. 
Then the other thing I have, of course, is champagne flutes. And so we have a number of these, uh, really great for, for you know, festive bubbly drinking. And we can see that nice long line of bubbles. And then a champagne bucket. I've got a bigger one downstairs as well for bigger parties, but uh, a great ice bucket's a good thing to have on the table. And then the most important thing, the champagne saver. Voila! Now, for another glimpse of what's in my drawers, if you come over here, we have the hidden cabinets of Game of Thrones toys. Dun, 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 dun. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Ah, ah. <laughs> and there you have it. Now you can say you've seen what's in Emily's drawers. Cheers.